Alright, what I'm going to show you guys today is how to do the X Clamp mod for your Xbox 360 to get rid of the red rings of death. So, I'm assuming since you're looking at this tutorial, you already know how to get your 360 completely apart. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is start with the tools you'll need once you have everything separated. What I'm doing here is I have some paper towels just laying down here so I don't spill anything or, you know, it helps you guys to see but you might need that to clean off something but you need some toothpicks to clean the goo off the CPU and the GPU you need some uh, q-tips to help clean that off I'm gonna use notepads because I couldn't find any tape which we're gonna need later arctic silver um, whatever this is called high density polysynthetic silver thermal compound which you can get from the site that I'm going to put up on the screen right now and I ordered that along with these washers and uh, screws that we're going to need from this site and uh, it's not that much money, it's like 10 bucks or something plus shipping we're going to need that right here I have some uh, OOPS multi-purpose remover it removes sticky stuff, gum, glue, etc you can also use Goo Gone. I'm experimenting with this right now. I'm not sure if this will work or hoping it will. A regular screwdriver, flathead. Uh, I'm not sure what you call that, but whatever that is, you need that. Um, of course, your Xbox 360. So I think that's pretty much it. Also, what I forgot to mention is you'll need a 13 64th drill bit to drill some bigger holes in the bottom of your 360 metal casing. This is so uh, with these screws right here it'll go through the bigger holes and go through there right, which you can tighten to make your heat sink tighter on your uh, 360 case. Forgot to mention. So what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and try to get all this sticky stuff off of the 360 so can do that now. Make sure everything's out of the way. We can get to that. And uh, try not to breathe in this stuff right here because it's not good for you. So it says the state of California that it causes birth defects. So you gotta be careful with that. You don't need that much, I don't think. Try not to get any on the actual board. Just try to stick with the chips. Alright, now that I got most of that stuff off, we're going to let it dry for a bit. Alright, what I've done while I was letting the board dry was I used the 13 64th drill bit and the drill press to enlarge the holes for the metal casing. There, 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 and there. That way our screws that we ordered from Llama will be able to fit through there. Um, and I seem to have misplaced one of the screws. <laughs> there it is. Good thing. 
and I only did one side of the case because this is the GPU over here and the CPU over here we don't need to do the X client fix to so what we're gonna do now is take your screws that you ordered stick them in the holes that you've enlarged one two three four now what you're gonna want to do it's not necessary but if you want to be picking up a whole bunch of screws and washers off the floor don't do this but I'm gonna take the sticky part of the the whatever it's called this pad and stick them over the screws so the screws and the washers don't fall out so I'm gonna do that for each of the screws make sure they're in there and don't fall out easily at least help them out a little bit you might want to use tape because tape would work a lot better than this I just couldn't find mine so there we go now what you're going to want to do flip this over notice the screws stay in there because the tape's holding them in right let me just check something three steel washers alright now what you do is take three of the steel washers that you ordered put three of them on each screw and oh yep see using this sticky pad screw came out a little bit but that's fine alright so three steel washers on each screw and after you've installed the three steel washers you put one nylon washer on top of each of those alright and it should look like this alright so now you have that done alright now what I'm gonna do is apply the arctic silver stuff onto the, the um, whatever we need to put it on the GP and the CPU because now they're dry and they're ready to go yeah feels like it so you only need a teeny bit of, of amount of this stuff do not want to put too much of this stuff because then it would just be terrible so you don't have to worry about this stuff drying because it takes a pretty long time to dry like the same stuff that I just talked to off of here earlier was still kind of moist so you only need a little amount not much at all on, on everything right here back on I hope that's enough if it's not we can just go back and add more but I'm going to try to spread it around with this toothpick Spread it around nice and even. Really careful not to put too much. Like you, you should only have uh, about a piece of plastic, like that you wrap food with. Should only be about that thick. 